All right, what's up guys? Today we're going down to Portland, Oregon to pick up her brother's new car. He's deployed to Afghanistan and he bought a Subaru WRX and I get to drive it home. Are you excited, Des? Yeah, I'm super sleep deprived. Des is sleep deprived and very tired and kind of grumpy. The whole plan was to take my truck and my trailer down to Oregon, do an overnight camping deal. But that all got kiboshed, I guess you could say, because uh, the shop that I'm working with is having a hard time getting the truck aligned. But we're not going to let that stop us from having a fun, family-filled adventure. No, no. no I downloaded a Dave Ramsey book to listen to. Ooh. Don't 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 take on debt. That's all Dave Ramsey says. He's not that smart. We all know that. Don't rob any banks. <laughs> again at the kitchen table with too much month left at the end of the money. I was not having fun. We're rolling through Best Buy because I made a pretty sizable investment in the channel and I think I'll probably do a video about this, but we're picking it up in Portland because I was able to save like 240 something dollars in tax, but I'm excited to share with you guys what we got to benefit the channel. So. Hello baby. Hi baby. <laughs> It almost didn't go as planned because the one that I ordered is in Illinois, but they had one in stock, which is super good. All right, crisis averted. So now, prepare to be super, super bored as we go explore Desiree's shop of choice, which is a perfumery full of smells that I can't smell because I've broken my nose too many times. Absolutely riveting. Hey. <laughs> That's fun. I'm glad you had fun. All right, so we're headed to pick up Forrest's car. It, as far as I know, it's a black Subaru WRX, which is like a car that I've always wanted, but never could afford the insurance rates because I've had so many speeding tickets and wrecks. So this is like exciting for me. This is like all the joy of going to pick up a new car and I get to drive it home, but I don't have to pay for it. I'm really looking forward to it. Max wants me to tell everyone why I like going to perfume shops. So, uh, a few years ago I had a little tiny Etsy business where I made perfume, natural perfume, and I shut it down when I got pregnant with Sawyer because I was pregnant so I thought everything smelled different than it did so I had to stop before I started selling some really weird stuff. Uh, so <laughs> Uh, right now I'm currently saving my money and trying to save up so that I can reopen with a bunch of really cool new stuff and an actual business plan so maybe I'll actually make money but yeah it's also really freaking hot in here because oh my god it's hot <sighs> all right there it is Forrest I hope you looked up this place because this is like a sketchy weird little spot that's probably why the guy told me to, oh, there's the car though. Oh, that's sick. Oh. Black one? 
Yeah, that's right there. Oh, it's shiny. Dude, <laughs> I get to drive that. Oh, I want one. Thanks guys. Yeah. Dude, this thing is sick. I'm gonna need one. <laughs> I want one. Damn it. Damn it, I want one. fun now I get to sit in traffic that car is so much fun my god that ride was the first 20 minutes uh, was super super fun but then we just sat in traffic and uh, you know driving a manual car in traffic's not fun and it's super hot outside so but man what a fun car the thing was sweet so by now you guys probably noticed that I uh, I didn't buy a Lamborghini I didn't buy Subaru I bought a laptop right so I paid 1800 bucks for this super powerful nerd laptop so that I can crank out videos for you guys faster that's initially the idea uh, my computer is just so slow it takes like almost a full day to render a video almost a full day to upload a video and then of course to edit a video it's so slow processing everything that it just takes me it takes me uh, you know half a week to do one video and half a week to do another and that's why I only do two videos a week and sometimes I'm late on those videos so this should allow me to process videos faster bring you guys higher quality videos and then it also will allow me to uh, to kind of work on videos while I'm at work during downtime in between 911 calls so that's like the big thing so I should be able to keep this up because right now returning to work uh, there's just no way I can do two videos a week consistently and I, I want to at least bring you guys two videos a week So I've made this big investment in the channel. I hope that it pays off I hope that you know the channel keeps going and it stays alive and you guys continue to enjoy it I, I know that I'm mixing up the content a little bit a lot of that's just uh, Because of what's going on in my life currently and uh, the truck will be back Should be back soon. Hopefully <laughs> So here's that awesome new big investment that I made. Finally got it after two weeks of waiting. It's a Dell laptop. When we went to Best Buy, there was a little bit of like confusion because the laptop was supposed to be there and it wasn't. Uh, but they had a, 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 the exact same laptop in stock, so they went and grabbed it for me. It came in this box, just like this. And I asked them, I was like, this box looks like it's been opened before. And they said, oh, no, no. We just put tape on there to reinforce it. So I opened it up and it looked super, super nice, but I couldn't find a charger anywhere. So I 
flip the laptop over like this. Look! And underneath, Cheating. it says refurbished. Cheating. And I paid full price for a brand Cheating. new one. Yeah, that's Dad's ripoff computer. I haven't even opened it up yet. I saw that Whoa. sticker and I got so pissed, I just put it right back. Box. No battery at Box. all. Doesn't even Box. turn on. The one upside is that I get to drive Forrest's car again. I'm sure he would prefer it if I took a Desiree's car. It's probably just safer, probably just safer, more responsible to take your car. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm gonna do. got it all figured out. That was so freaking sketchy though. That was so weird. Basically without saying it, they were saying like, this scenario that you're painting us is impossible so something else must be going on and we're not gonna take that computer from you. So essentially they were accusing me of, of buying, a new, uh, buying a new computer and then trying to return a refurbished computer. Even though, even though the, the serial numbers on the computer matched the box, and then the box matched the receipt. But oh my God. they kept trying to get me to leave. And I was like, I said, I'm not leaving this. I'm not gonna leave. I'm not taking this trash computer with me. Uh, I'm staying here. And so I went and found a wait. I was like, I'm gonna go sit down until we get this figured out. And then uh, 20 minutes goes by. I brought my camera in with my, uh, like my whole vlogging setup and I was like pretending to film everything. And uh, the guy comes up after 20 minutes of me like filming stuff and he's like he's like all right man we're just going to process the return and i'm going to ship and i'm going to ship the defective unit to portland and let them sort it out and i was like thank you but i should have i should have returned the mouse too i don't want to give best buy any money that was ridiculous and i feel bad for these guys these guys are nice enough but they like but it was just the way that nobody wanted it on their plate because then they lose, like one dude was telling me, it was like, he was like, hey, it's my last day. I'm gonna tell you, he's like, I wanna tell you something. The store's not gonna wanna take that because it affects the manager's bonuses. Dude. So they didn't, they didn't budge until I brought my camera in and until I said, you know, if this doesn't work out, what's my next step? Small, small claims court? Should I get on the phone with a lawyer right now? I'm selling like junk to people as new. Yeah. Like, so common like it happens all the time right i saw that on google when i was looking into this uh, yeah. that they're selling they're selling refurbished reused and sometimes they're not even like and they're packaging it as new okay. and selling it yeah had that had it had a charger in there and the sticker was removed none of this i would have never known and i would have just had bought a crap computer and there'd be no yep. no information to draw draw uh to bring it back to best buy I'm just a good dude, just trying to buy stuff. I can't buy a laptop without having some sort of issue. Dude, that was horrible. At least it'll be in the vlog, right? Did you vlog about it? Um, yeah, I vlogged about it. Oh, good. You should like really make a big stink about it. A big old stinky. Oh, what an absolute nightmare that was. Jesus Christ. All right, at least they took the refund, or at least they took the return and got a refund. More of the story is, don't trust Best Buy with two grand. That's just a risky deal. Maybe, uh, yeah, just don't go to Best Buy anymore. Horrible. That was just horrible. All right, guys, hope you have a better week than me. Bye.